Welcome to today's video about foods that damage brain cells and destroying our intelligence. Did you know that certain foods on your plate could be silently waging a war inside your brain? Recent research from a major neuroscience journal reveals that some everyday eats could be sabotaging your gray matter. But which ones are they? Are you consuming them daily? A shocking 78% of participants in a study had regular diets containing at least one of these culprits. Could you be part of that percentage? Stick around as we dive deep into the science, the stats, and the foods you need to watch out for. Can you guess what's on the list before we reveal it? Let's find out. Just a quick reminder. The information provided in this video is for educational purposes only and is not intended as a substitute for professional medical advice. All right, let's check out the list of foods that damage brain cells, starting with number one, alcohol. When you take that sip of your favorite drink, ethanol, the primary active component of alcoholic beverages, starts its journey. This compound easily crosses the blood-brain barrier, impacting our central nervous system. This can lead to slowed thinking, blurred vision, and impaired memory. Yep, that's the reason behind those fuzzy memories after a night out. One major concern is that excessive drinking can lead to thiamine deficiency. Thiamine is crucial for our brains, and a lack of it can cause serious conditions like Wernick-Korsakoff syndrome. A 2003 study in the journal Alcohol Research. Current reviews highlighted this risk. Moreover, alcohol triggers neuroinflammation, which is basically our brain's way of saying it's stressed out. Persistent inflammation can harm neural health. A 2019 paper in Scientific Reports details how chronic drinking causes this inflammation. Oh, and remember the term neurogenesis. It's our brain's ability to form new cells. Good news. Our brain does this throughout our lives. Not so good news. Alcohol can inhibit this process. Cells in 2023 reported on this. So, the next time you raise a glass, think of your brain. Moderation is key. Cheers to staying informed and making smart choices. Next, number two, high mercury fish. High levels of mercury in some fish can spell trouble for our brain. When we consume fish like shark or king mackerel, we ingest methylmercury, a highly toxic form of mercury. This compound can cross our blood-brain barrier, a protective shield for our brain. Once inside, methylmercury disrupts neurotransmission, the process by which our brain cells communicate. A study in the International Journal of Environmental Research and Public Health, 2022, indicated that even low-level exposure can impair neurodevelopment in children. Remember, it's not about avoiding fish altogether, as many are rich in omega-3s, crucial for brain health. It's about choosing wisely. Favor low-mercury options like salmon or sardines to keep your brain safe and nourished. Next, number three, aspartame. Aspartame, a common artificial sweetener, has sparked debate over its potential effects on the brain. Let's delve in. Aspartame breaks down into three main components in our body. Aspartic acid, phenylalanine, and methanol. Phenylalanine can elevate levels in the brain, possibly affecting neurotransmitter production. Too much aspartic acid can potentially act as an excitotoxin, overstimulating and damaging certain neurons. Then there's methanol, which, when metabolized, yields formaldehyde, not something you'd want in excess. A study in Journal of Neuropathology and Experimental Neurology, 1996, even associated high aspartame doses with aggressive type of malignant brain tumors. However, moderation is key. Most research suggests occasional aspartame intake won't be harmful for most people, but always consult with your doctor. Remember, context and amount play a huge role. Next, number four, refined sugars. Refined sugars can be sneaky culprits for our brain health. When we consume them in large quantities, they can lead to high blood sugar levels. A study in the New England Journal of Medicine, 2013, linked higher glucose levels to an increased risk of dementia. Why? Excessive sugar disrupts insulin's ability to regulate how cells use and store sugar for energy, 
essential for brain health. When insulin resistance occurs, the brain struggles to process thoughts and emotions. Moreover, these sugars trigger inflammation throughout the body, including the brain. Chronic inflammation can negatively affect brain function and may even lead to depression. The journal Nutrition Reviews, 2021, presented findings showing that high sugar diets could lead to worsened depression and anxiety. Think of it like this. The brain is an engine, and refined sugars are like low-grade fuel. The wrong fuel can clog the system over time. Stick to better sources of energy and keep that engine running smoothly. Next, number six, processed foods. Processed foods, often loaded with sugars, trans fats, and other additives, might be little ninjas attacking our brains. A 2022 study in the journal Foods Linked Emulsifiers, additives found in many processed foods to altered gut bacteria and increased gut inflammation. Why does that matter for our brain? Well, our gut and brain are connected, and inflammation in the gut can affect cognitive function. Meanwhile, trans fats, common in many processed foods, have been linked to poorer memory in young adults according to a 2015 report in PLOS One. And let's not forget refined sugars, they can trigger insulin resistance, causing the brain to suffer from a lack of glucose and leading to cognitive decline. Ever heard of brain fog? Consuming high amounts of sugar, like those in processed foods, might be a culprit according to a 2012 study in the Journal of Physiology. So, with every bite of that ultra-processed snack, we might be inviting unwanted guests into our neural pathways. Next, number 7, foods high in salt. High salt intake can wreak havoc on our brains. Here's how. Consuming too much salt leads to hypertension or high blood pressure. Now high blood pressure compromises the blood vessels, including those in the brain. When these vessels are damaged, it reduces blood flow, depriving brain cells of essential oxygen and nutrients. In a study published in Journal of the American Medical Directors Association, 2023, researchers found a direct link between a high-salt diet and cognitive impairments, the culprit. A change in the gut leading to decreased nitric oxide, which is vital for brain flexibility. Plus, National Institute of Neurological Disorders and Stroke, 2019, demonstrated that excessive salt might trigger TA, a protein that builds up in the brains of Alzheimer's patients. For your brain's sake, consider going easy on the salt. Every sprinkle counts. Remember, moderation is key. Next, number 8. Acrylamide. Acrylamide is a compound that emerges when foods rich in carbohydrates are cooked at high temperatures, like frying or baking. How does it affect our brain? According to a study from the Journal of Toxicology and Applied Pharmacology, 2022, acrylamide exposure was associated with an increase in neuroinflammatory markers. Essentially, it could trigger inflammation in our brain cells. Plus, a 2022 study in the International Journal of Molecular Sciences found acrylamide caused oxidative stress in neurons, which damages these cells over time. Now think of oxidative stress as a cell's rusting process, not something we want for our neurons. It's crucial to understand that while occasional exposure might be inevitable, we all love our fries and crisps. Consistently high intake might increase potential risks. Always strive for a balanced diet and maybe opt for steaming or boiling sometimes. It's about protecting that precious brain of yours. Next, number nine, soda. Soda, especially the diet kind, might not be your brain's best friend. Research from Boston University, published in Alzheimer's and Dementia and Stroke in 2017, found that daily soda consumers, even one per day, had a three times greater risk of stroke and dementia than non-consumers. The main culprit. Artificial sweeteners like aspartame and saccharin. These chemicals can disrupt brain function and lead to cognitive decline. But it's not just diet sodas. Regular sodas aren't off the hook. High fructose corn syrup, common in many sugary sodas, has been linked to memory problems. Plus, excessive sugar can lead to insulin resistance, 
which has its set of brain health issues. While occasional indulgence is probably fine, it's a good idea to consider what you're sipping on, your brain will thank you. Next, number 10, soy. Soy has long been a debated topic, and there's a compound in soy called phytostrogens, specifically isoflavones like genistine and aidsane. Some research suggests that in high amounts, these can interfere with hormone regulation in the brain. A study from the Journal of Alzheimer's Disease, 2015, found a potential link between high soy consumption and cognitive decline in older adults. But it's not all black and white. Another compound in soy, saponins, has shown neuroprotective properties. The Journal of Agricultural and Food Chemistry, 2016, demonstrated that saponins might mitigate the damage of oxidative stress in brain cells. So while you're sipping on that soy latte, remember, everything in moderation. Consuming soy in balanced amounts can be part of a healthy diet, but it's crucial to keep an eye on research to know the full story. So there you have it, the surprising culprits that might be hiding in your pantry. Knowledge is power, and now you're equipped to make brain-friendly choices. Remember, it's not just about cutting out the bad, but embracing the good. How will you switch up your diet for a brighter, sharper tomorrow? If you found this enlightening, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more eye-opening content. Got a food fact or a brainy tip? Drop it in the comments below. Until next time, eat smart and stay brilliant.